you did was impulsive, capricious, and melodramatic. But it was also wrong. OK, nobody freaked out when Alexis went missing. I didn't go missing, David. The FBI knew where I was the entire time. You regret that embarrassing photos of you aren't online? No, I regret that they're lost. And I should have appreciated those firm, round mammae and calipigeon ass while I had them. If you're talking about your body, uh, I think you still look amazing. In a room this tiny, you've just got to ignore the little irritants of the other or you'd go insane. Little irritants? What, uh, what little irritants? I have little irritants? Yes, we all do. Peccadillos, cloying habits. Like what, for instance? All right, John, I, I drink a little too much tea sometimes. Moira, of the two of us, I'm not the one who throws tantrums. I will not engage. I'm sorry, obviously this has worked you up into some kind of fit of peak. Okay, you know what? I need some air. That's another thing, Mr. Rose. You never finish your fights. You are an inexplicably cocky imbecile. Your marriage is as blighted as this town, and you have no one to blame but yourself. Oh. Vivacity aside, our children's safety is no laughing matter. As a mother who once invested a great deal of time and money into her children, I, for one, stand by the request to extend the hours of the day. Black says, if I'd known you didn't like the attention, I would have chosen to be alone with you and not out in public among the throngs of fans. I don't remember throngs. Sometimes your choices are less suited to family's needs and more suited to a ponytailed Lothario cruising down the Monte Carlo coast. Or like um, Vin Diesel. Yeah, it's called style, people. Oh. I apprentice costume design under Stan McCoyer. I'm sure he'd agree this toggery is the perfect tribute to the common woman. Oh, John, look. It's our car. This car is $3,000 more than our budget. I'm a trained actor. A humble backstory will disabuse this man of any notion we're too patrician. Well, OK, but let's start by losing words like patrician. Hey, folks, how we doing today? Oh, excited beyond compare. We've, we've struggled with penury for quite some time now. Just two years ago, we were Practically homeless. The faucet is dripping in David and Alexis's room. It's exasperating, the incessant tap, tap, tap. Oh, it's so irritating, Stevie. <gasps> Cole, go tell Stevie of your decision. What decision? And I'll instruct counsel to save their largesse for a more worthy charity. You didn't get the money, did you? Go, John, before the passion dies again. I would be honored. God, it'd be such big shoes to fill. No, Twyla, no. No deprecatory mocking. One must champion oneself and say, I am ready for this. Otherwise, the pressure could be crippling. Well, John and I would love to help you ensnare this maniac, but we have plans this Saturday night. Oh, well, the party's actually Friday. And a 50-50 chance there. Yes, you are? It's just that it's the end of the week, Twyla. So that's always chock-a-block. And then there are the kids, well, both of them, David, Alexis. Well, I know you're busy. Exactly, David. You are bored, lethargic, and practically dripping with ennui. OK, that's a bit much. I blame myself. Oh, what a startling little tan and bomb. To whom do we owe a reciprocity for this Yuletide gift? It says Christmas world right on it. Oh, I see. Then you can work the front desk. Ooh. Receptionist work is not my strong suit. That's more Alexis's ballywick. The other option is changing the sheets and mattress covers. Then I shall keep watch over this front desk. Oh, that fussy little fucker. After niggling me with relentless demands. It doesn't matter. OK, John. For you, I will talk to that odious little man and set things straight. Good. But unlike him, I will not hide behind the internet. What did I do? Well, I simply channeled someone who cares. But if you insist on referring to me as the linchpin, I'll take that. That's right. We're, uh, we're just a couple of linchpins here. <laughs> I'm Roland Shit, Moira's boss. Yes, I'm the ingenue here. Total babe in the political woods. That's true. You know, this is her first ramp. <laughs> this is my talk now, shoot later look. So this visage is off limits for 
for the moment. But this particular little tribute was bought by my husband in an attempt to assuage my ego. And that would be different from the other times because... Wow. I can't believe it. He's managed to create in this town something truly winsome. I would shop here, John, even without the nagging sense of obligation. The rose name on another plucky young business. We should go congratulate him. We should, but our son is very hard at work. Now, Alexis has veritably browbeaten us not to attend. I wouldn't be surprised if she skips the whole affair herself, waggish little nymph that she is. So, well, then I guess it'll just be me who won't be making it to the festival.